Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I am coming to you with a very small CVS haul. Um, if you haven't known, CVS um, has been having like a big clearance sale on a lot of their makeup, beauty, nail polish, you know, stuff like that. 50-75% off. Um, <clears throat> and I found out about it from one of the subscribe my people I follow, um, Crystal is 007. She always has a scoop on everything, so you should definitely check out her channel, especially if you are into makeup. She's more of a makeup, you know, lover. She does do have polishes and stuff like that, but the majority is makeup. But she always has a scoop and down low on what's coming out and what's on sale and everything. So, um, so yeah, I found out about the seven, the CVS clearance sale from her, and um. And it's been going for a while. Um, I went to another CVS and they just didn't really have hardly anything at all. And mind you, um, some of the stuff does not have like clearance stickers on it. So you have to, there's like a, I know if you go to one of her, if go to Crystal's 007, I think there's a CVS clearance video that she has up. She has the link to where you can go to see what products are included in the clearance sale so that um, even if it's not marked, you can still, you can get it for the lower price. And then just make sure you scan everything at the little scanner and check the price. So anyway. Let me just get on with what I got so this don't be forever. Not everything that I got was on clearance. I actually only got a couple things on clearance because they didn't, again, have much that I, especially nail polish wise, that I didn't already have. So, um, the, I only got a couple nail polishes. So, this is one of the, um, which I hate the placement of their stupid stickers. So, this is one of these Sally Hansen, I think, Luster, um, polishes and they're like duo chrome some of them were this one is a really pretty like bronzy copper but then it has like looks like I don't know how well you can see that but like looks like pinkish blues and a little bit of green in there and um, this one is called copperhead And it's just a really nice color. And this 75% off. So um, I paid $2.07 and I saved $6.22, which means these were freaking $8.29 at CVS. Mm. So this next one is also a Sally Hansen Luster something also 75% off and this one's called Azure. This one's just a nice metallic-y shimmery like blue. More of a shimmer than a metallic. I can't pass up a blue. I really can't. Again called Azure. And the last Sally Hansen polish also from the Luster line is a duo chrome and it's got like gold and green and a little bit of pink. This kind of reminds me of the, one of the China Glaze ones and one of the OPI and this one is called Firefly. Sorry about my lighting. It's a little weird in here today. Don't know what's going on, but that's it for that. And um, I did pick up these Kiss Gradation, Gradation, Grady, Gradation Polishes sets. And this one is just in like the black one. And actually I didn't pick this up for myself. I picked this up actually for a friend. And this just has the black one. And then they had another one in pink. And it doesn't have like any name. It just has a numbers MG04. And this one is the pink. So you get the lighter, the darker, and then the glitter pink. not show okay so <clears throat> and then this one last item was on clearance and this is the Milani infinite liquid eyeliner 24 hour long wear waterproof 
color intense smudge and smear proof and this one is a purple one in the color endless and I actually do have a gold one like this and I will put it in my waterline and it actually does stay there and I will tell you it is a little tough to remove and um, but I will also say if you get it <laughs> on your eye it it's it's not painful it doesn't sting or doesn't didn't irritate it at least it didn't irritate mine so um, that's good because I don't have the steadiest of hands and I'm not pr as precise I haven't had enough practice so I wanted to get this and this was 50% off so um, it was 415 and I saved 414 so it was 829 regular price so I thought that wasn't bad um, because I have been looking for like blues like blue green and purple to do as a pop of color just because I feel like um I don't know some of the more neutral colors I feel like they just kind of blend right in with my you know skin tone and don't really show as well and since I don't really know how to apply eyeshadow I can't get it to look right but I want some color and um browns like over my just to do my eyelid like they're already dark for whatever reason is which is so funny because it's like it's not like that area gets any sunlight i mean look oh my eyes and they gone they that that area disappears so how it is darker don't ask me it just don't make no no damn sense so pop of color i haven't yet mastered like i've been trying the winged look but I at least can do the waterline with a pop of color I've been trying to do like the under lash line and it just looked messy I don't know I just I don't know what it is with eyeshadow so and after I say that then this is what I also picked up some Milani um, shadow eyes eyeshadow pencil 12 hour wear and this is in green safari and I picked this up because I found that some of the shadow sticks actually do work out um, um, nicely as a pop of color in the waterline as well. And um, I've been looking for a brighter green. All the greens that I have found are a much deeper, darker green. So I wanted something that was a little bit brighter. And then the other one I have is like a really like period dough green and it's so it's like a little bit too faint it's not great deep enough color so I picked this nice just bright green and then I had also heard from Crystalis 007 that the um Remo Scandal Eyes um shadow sticks are work really well and really do stay and she says she's used them in the lower lash line but not her waterline um, I did test one out, I think, and they actually do have some decent staying power. I think the turquoise, when I put it on and then, like, went to, you know, like, smudge it a little bit later, like, maybe, like, 10 minutes or something, and it didn't move, it didn't run, and my eye, my eyes tend to water, so I generally have difficulty finding a color that will actually stay in my waterline so I picked up one of each color that they had and the um, Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeshadow pencils they're only $4.59 regular price none of these were on clearance so I just picked up one of each color and um, I can't give you the names of the colors complete names because CVS Six these dumbass stickers right across these sensors on the major part on there which covers the freaking name of the one and this one is like a bronzy brown it looks like it's called bad to the bronze but you can only see a piece of the name there So, 
This one's really nice. I did try this one. You have to excuse my dry hands. But this is actually really nice and opaque. And actually, I did try it just by swiping a thick line across my lid here and then putting a black liner and tried to, well, I was practicing my wing. And it actually looked nice. You can actually see this color. Um, this one actually stands out as opposed to like a regular traditional brown. So I'm gonna maybe play around with that. And then the other color that I got, this one is called Bulletproof Beige. And this one's kind of like a rosy gold color. And I must say, like, if you see my Target haul video, I mean, they go on so smooth and creamy, but they stay in place. Now, that one, you really, you can see it, but not as well in this lighting. I don't know. And then you have to, I keep making a mess. I keep getting it on the rim. So then the next one I got, which the name is also covered up. Um, I This one looks like guilty something, but I can't really tell what it is. And this one is a, I think the gray color, like the steel gray color. And again, these just apply so nicely. It's like a grayish blue, kind of. That's what it looks like. So a really nice different color. Oh, I do that every time. And then this next one is just a black one. And again, I'm assuming it's just called black, but the name, again, is covered up. And... Again, it, these are ones that you have to sharpen, unfortunately. So, and that is nice deep black or opaque black. And the last one I got is this purple one because a lot of the ones, like I bought some from Ulta, but it was, it was I don't know, kind of dark. So I wanted something a little bit brighter. So that is the purple one. And again, oh, that one just, they just go on so smooth. And again, the name is covered up. It's called something purple. So that is that one. And that, oh. let me go ahead and swatch the green one because I'm very, very interested to see how this green one by Milani is going to look oh I so need to stop using these damn things damn they slice my finger off and put you away okay so this one is the safari green oh made a mess already now let me just stick that one. Oh, and that one goes on really nice and creamy and really nice and bright oh i like that one. Oh, that is really cute i'm almost tempted to put that one on <laughs> right now and try it out but i'm gonna refrain so that is everything that i picked up and then let's see yeah, these other ones, like a little bit is smudging off, but they're pretty much staying in place. It looks like there's least smudge coming off of the brown one. So we'll have to see how the other ones wear. I mean, it's not like I'm... Well, I guess if I put it on my eyelid, I do rub my eyes a little bit. So anyway, those are the things that I picked up from CVS. Um, just a few things on clearance. So definitely check out your clearance, your CVS, and see what they have on clearance. Um, you know, if you wear makeup, how do you do your eyes? Do you, you know, what do you think? The pop of color on the waterline or under the lash line? What do you think? 
I'd, I'd be willing, uh, you know, looking for suggestions on how to achieve a really nice look that doesn't look gaudy or stupid, but just looks nice in a pop of color. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a great day. Bye.